Okay, you guys, so I just want to start off by saying I feel like it was very appropriate for me not to wear makeup considering this was a skincare video. I see a lot of people who do skincare videos and talk about, oh, how much these products helped and, oh, you've got to buy this, you've got to buy that, but, you know, it does wonders for my skin, but you wear makeup during the video, I can't see, I can't see your skin, I can't see what these products have done to your skin, so, I mean... I just that's just my personal preference so I felt like in my skincare video I'm not wearing any makeup when I get up out of the bed this is what I look like I'm not afraid of it I walk outside like this it's all good so I felt like if I'm going to show you skincare products I don't need to have on makeup I, I need you to be able to see how these products are working for me and what do you think they're doing for me do you think they're helping or would you purchase some or what because I'm just showing you firsthand you know you know what my skin looks like without makeup so if you're interested stay tuned so the first thing that i'm going to show you is um i had now i do have a couple of high and low end items i felt like it would be good because everybody should be able to benefit from this video as far as price point now usually when people take off their makeup some girls will take off their makeup using just only makeup removing wipes i prefer i like to use the cleanse off oils and a makeup wipe together now I don't have a drugstore cleanse off oil um so I can just show you what I have I use the long cone milky clean milky cream cleanser for dry skin I do have dry skin I mean I just moisturized it before I started the video so you can't really tell but I get dry patches like here and here so I mean I have dry skin I will use that and I will just take it and I'll take two or three squirts and I'll just rub it in on my face just kind of in circular motions all over all over my face and then I will take the you can either take now in the morning time I take the simple cleansing facial wipes they look like this they're my drugstore brand I love them love them love them they are for sensitive skin all my products are for sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin and I will, you know, wipe tissue, the um, cleanse off oil off with this. And then um, I'll proceed with my eye makeup. And that's in the morning time. And my eye makeup remover, that's in the morning time. So I'll set that to the side. At night when I'm taking off makeup, my high -end, I usually use my high-end products. And these are the MAC, uh, MAC makeup removing towelettes. I love them. They work wonders. I feel like they get most of my makeup off before I get ready to jump in the shower and start cleansing. These are a little bit on the pricier end. I think they're $29 for... It's a, you get 100 towelettes. So, I mean, I think it's pretty good, but it is kind of pricey when you can go to the drugstore and get the simple wipes. And I think the simple wipes are like $7 and it's $25 in here. So, I mean, it's just personal preference. So, I use those. The next thing that I use to... Now, I have three different items that I use to get my eye makeup remover off. The first one I'm going to show you is the drugstore product and it's the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. And it looks like this. It works good y'all. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean I'm not going to downplay it because it's a drugstore product. It works good. It gets off your makeup just as fine. It don't leave you with no oily eyes or anything. I'll take a Q-tip and kind of scrub across my eyes and it, I mean it comes right on off. So I really really love it. As you can tell. I've used just about all of it, but I have <laughs> I have several of these things because I also use them in my kit as well. So that's my drugstore product. Love it, love it, love it. You can find it anywhere. I mean, CVS, Walgreens, Publix, Walmart, anywhere. And I think that, that's seven dollars as well. Now my high end products, I have two of these. I the first one is the Estee Lauder eye makeup remover. It's for all skin types, and it looks like this. <laughs> I really, really, really like this one. Um, out of all three, I kind of like this one the best. It just, I mean, it seems like it only takes a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, and it takes off all of your eye makeup. I do. I really do. The other ones work, but I mean, I just feel, if you ask, this is overall my personal favorite. And that's the Estee Lauder eye makeup remover. I make up removers, I make up remover, but I mean I like that the best. And then I have the long comb by facial double action eye makeup remover, and it looks like this. I think these eye makeup removers were like $18 a piece. Between $18 and $25. Yeah, $18 and $25 a piece. I like this one as well. 
and it looks like that. Like I said, it removes all my makeup. They're satisfied with all three of them. I mean, it doesn't bother me to use them. So, after I have gotten all my makeup off and, you know, I'm ready to cleanse my face, I'll start off with what I'll be using in the morning time. I will use the Garnier um, Smooth Cream Cleanser. It gently cleans, restores softness, and it's for dry skin, and it's soap-free, and it looks like this. This is also one of the items that can be found at CVS, Walgreens, Publix, Walmart, wherever it's a drugstore product. So I will use that in the morning time and I mean I don't really have much makeup on in the morning time so I mean I like it. I mean it works good for my skin. I've never broken out with it. I, I just I really really like it. So if if you don't want to resort to the high end you can use it day or night because you're supposed to clean your skin cleanse your skin twice a day so in the morning I'll use this is I mean I've been using it for a while I really really like it I have several of these to back up the next item that I will use and this is what I use at night is my higher end product and it's the Aroma Bella um, skincare exfoliating face wash and it looks like this now you can't find this at I don't know if you can see looks like that you can't find this at um, the department stores. This is actually kind of, you have to go to an actual, um, either a dermatology center or a, um, like a spa. And you can find them there. You can find them online. And there's a place here in my town called Derma Correction. So if you live here, then you know what Derma Corrections is. It can be found here. I think this was $65 for this bottle but I've had this bottle going on a year and a half and I still have about this much left I don't know if you can see you can't really see but I still got about that much left and I love it and what I do is I'll take a little bit and I'll squirt it on my Clarisonic brush this is the Clarisonic Mia 2 and um, I'll take it and I'll squirt it on my Clarisonic brush and I'll just, you know, cleanse with that. And that really, it gets off all my makeup really cleansed. It has, has my pores open. I mean, it really does the job. Now, I don't have the... Um, the drugstore version of what would be the what would be the Clarisonic, but I can tell you because I threw it away. I I didn't want to use it anymore. I had this, but the Olay Pro X, it's white and it it's got one little spinning brush and it turns. It works just as good. I think that they sell it at um, Walgreens and CVS. I think it's like twenty nine dollars. It works really good. You can use your cleanser and put it on that to deep exfoliate your face as well. It works and I like it. But I have the Clarice on it, me too. This was kind of pricey. You can find this one at Sephora, the department stores, Belk, um, Macy's, different places like that. It was a hundred and fifty dollars when I got it, but it may be a little cheaper now because I've had mine for almost two years now. So, and I really, really, really like it. I mean, it's worth the investment if you ask me. So, that's that. Okay, after I have um cleanse my face got out the shower and kind of dried my face off i don't know if you know you're never supposed to take a towel like take a towel and do this to your face like you're never supposed to do that you're supposed to take the towel and kind of patch your face like that right there to um dry your face because that's just irritating your skin when you do that so unless you just have like sandpaper proof skin so after i do that and i pat my face dry i use a toner now, basically, tone even out your skin tone and just help brighten up your skin and just clear up any dark spots. Now, as you can see, I do have, I still have some dark spots. I didn't get real serious about my skin until about last year. Um, that is when I stopped falling asleep in my makeup. I actually made it a priority to get up, wash my face, and then, you know, go to bed like I'm supposed to so I'm still working on my skin but these are products that are working for me my skin was far worse but I feel like they are really helping me and I mean I'm not gonna get on here and put nothing on my channel that I feel like is not working just to be hyping up a product I'm telling you what I have used I have used all these products I have got gained uh, benefits from all of them so I know I'm rambling let me get back to the toner so the first toner that I have is my drugstore toner. This is the Seabreeze Sensitive Skin Fresh Clean Astringent. And it looks like this. This was pretty popular for a while. So some of you may have seen this. But y'all, 
I, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Sometime at night, I use this too. I don't use my high end toner. I just, I mean, I love it. It works good. And the only con with this is. When you put it on your face, it's kind of loud. It may scare you. It may tingle a little bit, but it don't burn. It don't irritate your skin, but it will tingle. And it's kind of, the smell is loud. I'm telling you, if you got a stopped up nose like me, and you put it on your face, oh, honey, this will do the job too. So, I mean, I really, really, really like it. And it's for sensitive skin as well, as you can see. Looks like this. And I think you can find this. You can also find this at some of the um, dollar stores as well. So I think it's like $3 for this. But as you can see, I've been using it up pretty good too. A little bit goes a long way with this. I'll take it and I'll put it on a cotton ball and just kind of like go everywhere. You know, all through my face. Don't, don't get it in your eyes because it will burn your eye. But just kind of wipe everywhere on your face and just kind of let it dry. That's my drugstore toner my high-end toner i use the young kai essentials like my um cleanser and it looks like this it's the young kai lotion is alcohol free and it's a dry skin toner so it, it does put a little bit more moisture back into my face once i've cleansed it and everything and i mean i think this bottle was about 45 dollars and i got it from the same place derma corrections here where i live but you can't order it online it's um uh, the, the brand was constructed in Paris and I think if you get online and go to the website they'll tell you that I really love it. I really love my whole young car system it's I mean I really do I really 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 do but because they're so expensive I try to use a drugstore brand in the morning and use this at night when I just really want to get my face extra clean so I love it okay also, I do have a third toner. Like I said, it matches the um, simple wipes that I have. And I also, I use this every blue moon, but it does work. It does a trick because I have so many different options. I kind of always forget about this one. But this is the simple um, soothing facial toner. It's um, for natural and healthy looking skin. skin products. So this is a drugstore brand. You can find this... Um, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Publix. I feel like I keep saying that over and over again. But when I say that, when I say drugstore, those those are the type of stores that I mean. So, if you didn't know that, but it looks like this. Love it. It works really, really, really. Last but not least is after you toned your face and you you know let the toner sit and dry, the last thing you do is you moisturize. Now. I, I will be honest, I don't, I think I don't have a moisturizer by the drugstore that I use that I'm just totally in love with. I do have one that I use in the morning time with the rest of my drugstore products, but sometimes I'll skip it and I'll use my high-end moisturizer because I just, I love it. I just love it so much. And I have two high-end. I love it so much, but the first one, I don't even have it with me. I left it at my friend's house, but... I have the um, the Aveeno um, Sensitive Skin Moisturizer. It's like $14 at the drugstore. It works okay. I mean, it, this that moisturizer is just... I put it on my face and about two or three hours later, I'm dry all over again. I know I have dry skin and I know I have to moisturize more than some people. But, I mean, I, I just... I like it, but... I prefer my high-end moisturizer so I mean that's just me so but my high-end moisturizers I have the um, again the young Kai got that whole set and I think this moisturizer was $65 at the derma corrections but it it goes a long way I still have a whole lot left and I have had this bottle for I know a year that's why it looks all banged up I don't know if you can tell but it was white but it's all dirty but this is the cream 15 it helps purify and smooth blemishes um i have a few but it works really good y'all i love it i just pay close attention to my face i just want to get it over and be done with it for today i'll go ahead and just use this because i know this will keep me moisturized all day and every now and then i will use my clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion and it looks like this looks like that <clears throat> long time ago I used to use this whole entire um, Clinique system but I'm not gonna lie I'm not, 
nothing went wrong with it i just wanted to try something different and that's when i was introduced to the young kai line so i mean before i was using young kai i was using the um whole clinique three step system and i love it i'm not gonna lie it worked for me but i was just one of them type of people kind of like okay let's move on to the next best thing in my opinion so that's why i started using the whole young kai line so if you're interested and you would like to purchase the clinique line they have a line for the dry the normal combination and the oily skin and of course i got the dry line and i really 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 loved it i just like i said there was nothing wrong with it i just wanted to try something different so if you're interested in a line you can also check that line out as well i would recommend it so and that's it now one other thing that's that's what i use to just that's my whole skincare regimen night and day so i don't know if you guys remember me telling you in my last video i had purchased the glam glow mud mask and i said i was gonna try it and i figured what since i don't have on any makeup or anything i think it'll be Cool. if I go ahead and just do it on camera and show you guys what I like kind of do like a first impression so I'm going to insert a little clip of me using this mud mask and I'll show you what it look like when it dries completely up Overall, I liked it. I just got to use it more just to see. Now, it did draw all my blackheads up because as you can see, a lot of these spots are blackheads. So, I really want to clear them up. And the Glam Glow that I got now, they have a total of four. They have a, uh, the white one, the green one, the black one, and the blue one. And this one that I got, it is the it's for pores and problem skin. Now, my skin is really not that bad, but according to the box with everything that they treated, I feel like this was the best fit for me. And it says they treat pores, problem skin, blemishes, pimples, breakouts, zits, spots, black and white heads, razor bumps, and ingrown hair. So, I mean, I just, I figured, hey, let's give this a try. So, so that was my skincare haul slash demo of my Glam Glow product. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and please subscribe so that you can keep up and it'll alert you guys whenever I have a new video that comes up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.